So uh, hmm. you you ada terima offer daripada Korean punya program juga but you opt for Unical MFI. So uh-huh. is it you have been nurtured by your nature of surrounding by the uh, old boy sibling and also maybe it grew your passion towards the welding in your field and also the male dominated field juga at the first time whenever we have class and teachers ask okay what you want to be mm. so that is the common question actually we receive during school while waiting for my SPM results my parents said if you want to do part time why not uh, at the at uh, nearby our house my house actually next to Gebang Gebang is uh, the industrial area Yeah. Okay. So that's how I was introduced with welding. Mm-hmm. So I want to do part time while waiting for my SPM result. Start from there, I know the cause of welding inspection. This one is known as a male dominated field lah because mm-hmm. in welding in welding inspection scope. During that time, I am the only girl actually. But during that time, I was technical assistant, technical assistant in safety department. Mm-hmm. So afterward, I research where is the university that did the course for welding and coating inspection. Mm-hmm. So in Malaysia, the one and only that I found. Is a uh, unique MFI. Okay. So for now, um, I am working in underwater field in commercial diving. Okay. Uh, so okay. I think this one as a publicly known, yang this field jarang ada perempuan actually. And even for the okay. current job pun memang saya seorang je perempuan. I think I got a lot of uh, questions why I interested in this field. Yes. Maybe because uh, I think my personality, my mm-hmm. personality is quite active and adventurous even though you said in male dominated field but most mm-hmm. women usually they will put in management level meaning that yeah. usually women just need to monitor and not involve much in operation however i'm very grateful because uh, before i start my work i already said to my boss that i want to involve mm-hmm. with operation mm-hmm. before this i actually was involved with onshore inspection which means involved uh, with okay. more in plant so mm-hmm. right now i involved with underwater so from land to sea And how do I pursue actually in underwater because of my super senior he did some seminar talk about underwater inspection. So during that time they say there is no woman actually from mm-hmm. UNIKL. There are women but a few only four in Malaysia. So as we know that professional works usually have professional certificate. Yes. Uh, that you need to come with for you to done the job. Uh, so from that uh, I have been exposed in underwater field, underwater inspection field from Alif Hamdi. Alif Hamdi is quite in UNIKL MFA is quite famous. So since from that I said okay I don't think that I want to involve with onshore inspection I want to involve with underwater inspection because it seems rare <laughs> After my intern and uh, one year and half of my experience in onshore inspection, so during that time I was uh, trying to apply actually in underwater field. Unfortunately, uh, maybe not my rezeki, so I didn't I didn't receive any offer in subsea or in underwater mm-hmm. field during that time. But I am the type of not giving out. I am the determined person. So for underwater underwater field has been my dream actually since 2017. To enter in this field, I need to do connection and I need to do something how to attract people to. To recognize me, so that's why I come up with. I just post LinkedIn in, in order mm-hmm. for people to notice me actually, and I didn't expect for my post to viral last year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah, because of that, I could say that I received 11 offers. But mm-hmm. in the 11 offers, I need to choose one only. Okay. So I need to push aside the another 10 offers as people as publicly known in underwater field the percentage to success mm. and is more bigger than onshore i didn't say that both have both have different uh, percentage of success but by meaning of this is you can say in underwater as i said earlier is better salary than onshore oh, but I see. both has pros and cons so mm. i think like for now i i am not yet thinking about form a family <laughs> or to get married i'm just thinking about yes. my goals so that's why that is not like a big issue for me because my main goal is for me to achieve my career so like yeah. nowadays all women already involved with any kind of male dominated field mm-hmm. because what people see at the end is the result the contribution mm-hmm. every woman and every man has contribute something in this country and even in the field what people see is the result when we say in a male dominated field it means that you have to have a mental and physical as a man so that one before you enter the male dominated field or the male dominated industry you have to prepare for that